When I was prepping this tutorial for you, I didn't know exactly what to do. And that's because there's so many different ways that you can create this cool sports graphic intro. You can do it in Photoshop, you can do it in Premiere, and obviously you can do it in After Effects, which is the original way that I created. But still, which method should I teach you guys? Come on, man, are you kidding me? Your analytics are so low, no one's watching. Don't even bother, just stick with watching this show on Netflix. Don't listen to him, CM. He's too pessimistic. Yeah, maybe your views are a little too low, but you're making great impact and that's what matters. Stick with one of the methods and go from there. All right, let's start out with After Effects. And if you want to learn how to do it in Photoshop or Premiere, drop me a comment and let me know. And remember that life is truly a gift. Make it count. Let's create a new composition. Let's click on new comp and I'm gonna select this preset HDTV 1080 29.97. Let's call this paper loop. And make sure that the duration is set to exactly one second long. Let's hit OK. And we'll be using this paper texture. So let's bring it into our composition. And what we want to do is every 10 frames, since we're working at 30 frames per second or 29.97, every 10 frames, let's splice this. If you're using Windows, it's Control Shift D. If you're using an Apple computer, it's Command Shift D. Now to create this random looping paper texture, let's simply readjust the position, the scale, or the rotation of these layers. The first one, let's leave it intact. Let's make the second one, click on the second one, and let's change the rotation. Let's make it 90 degrees, hit S for scale, and let's scale it to 110, and let's reposition. Let's move it around here. Let's go to the last one, S for scale. Let's flip it. Make it minus 100 and let's move it right around here. So as long as your layers are different from each other, it should work. So let's play back. Perfect. Now go back to your paper loop comp. Let's bring it to the comp icon to create a pre comp. Hit control K or command K to open up the composition settings. And let's call this paper loop cycle and change the duration, make it longer. For you, it could be five seconds or 10 seconds, however long is your graphic intro. So let's make it at least 10 seconds long. We should be good with 10 seconds. Now, what we want to do is just simply loop this. So there's two methods. Number one is making copies, Control D or Command D, and then just lining them up like this. And if you hold on to Shift, it'll lock to the edges and just keep doing this until you reach the end. And method number two is a little fancier. And let me show you how to do that. So what we'll do is, let's zoom in so you can see, select a layer, right click, time, enable time remapping, and it created two keyframes. So let's go to the last keyframe and let's jump one frame back at frame 29 and let's add a keyframe. Now let's go back to the last keyframe and let's delete it. Click here and let's write an expression. I'll click on the stopwatch to open the expression box and let's type loop out. Let's select loop out and then hit quotes and go down to cycle. And this is your expression loop out. And then inside parentheses, you have cycle. Now let's zoom out and let's drag the out point. Let's go all the way to the end and let's play it back. And there you go. You have this paper texture that's looping for 10 seconds. CM asked me to give you some tips that you can use in Photoshop or Premiere. But let me tell you something. There are no such thing as a free tip. So for me, you're not getting a free tip. Settle, not. And you can do this for any other texture. For example, we have this construction paper and let me show you how to set it up. And then after that, the steps are exactly the same as the paper loop. What we'll do is create a new comp. Let's simply call it texture loop. Make sure that it's one second long, hit okay. And let's bring in this construction paper. Remember that every 10 frames, we're gonna splice it. Let's create a new adjustment layer. 
and just make sure that the adjustment layer is at the very top. And let's add two effects. Number one is go to color correction, black and white. And the second one, color correction, let's go to levels. And simply let's make this a high contrast image. So let's adjust these sliders. And there you go. And now let's reposition this texture. I'm not going to rotate it. I'm not going to scale it because this is a very high resolution, 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. There is no need to scale it. Let's just simply move it. Simply move it around. This looks good. And let's play it back. There you go. Now to loop it, just do the same thing. You can either make copies or use this expression that I showed you to loop it. Hey, amigos. CM asked me if I can give you guys a tip, and I know I'm pretty sure pessimistic CM didn't give you anything. So I'm gonna give you two tips. Number one is if you're working in Photoshop, you can design your comps in Photoshop, save it as a Photoshop file or a JPEG, whatever, and then you can bring it in, into Adobe Premiere or you can bring it into After Effects. And tip number two is if you're working in Adobe Premiere and you're creating this loop texture, you would be working with nested sequences. In After Effects, we call it pre-composing or pre-comps and Premiere, it would be nested sequences. And that's the way to do it. That's, it'll keep it very clean. Once you have your texture loop cycle, it's time to start building our main comp, which will be our sports intro. Go to the comp icon, let's click on it, and let's call this GFX Sports Intro. And I'll make it five seconds long. It shouldn't go beyond five seconds, but that totally depends upon your project. Let's go ahead and bring in our paper loop cycle, and let's bring in our texture loop cycle as well. Now you can see that it's black and it's covering it up. And there's a couple things that we can do. Number one is you can always change the blending mode, for example, hit add, and it took it out. But I'm going to do something else. Let's go back to normal. And there is a free plugin. It's called Unmalt. And I'm going to put that link in the description so you can get it. Go to null Unmalt, and it removes the black. Now, there's another effect that I'm going to add, and that is under matte, simple choker. Now, what we can do before we adjust this, let me solo this. And let's go to choke map and we choke it. You see it disappears. If we go the opposite direction, it makes it thicker. So let's make it minus two value of minus two. And this will help it stand out more. And then the next thing is let's add some color. Go to effect, generate, fill. And let's add the colors of the team. For this example, since we're using the Tennessee Titans for Derrick Henry, Go to Team Color Codes, has all the color codes for all the professional teams. And we'll use this hex code for the red. Let's go back, Control C, Control V to paste. And let's go to one second. Let's splice this layer, Control Shift D or Command Shift D. And let's copy this hex code. And let's paste it in. And there you have it. So the first second we have red and then next we have the blue and it's up to you, amigos. You are the creator. You decide how long you want these colors to stay up.